What is up, everybody? As always, hope you guys are having an amazing day. We are so excited to be back in the home theater tonight with another amazing movie that you guys have suggested to us. But if you guys are new here, we welcome you to Rob Squad's home theater. You are here on Mondays and Fridays with your boy, Jay. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Amber. And this was actually a fun pick for us. So we have seen this movie suggested a few times. And you guys have mentioned some amazing actors. The actors named uh, Jack Nicholas. We've seen him in... Jack Nicholson and Nicholson. Yeah, Morgan was, Freeman. We've seen Nicholson in The Shining, which, oh, oh my goodness, that was still, that still an amazing movie. And I don't do scary movies, and that movie was awesome. It was fantastic. Me. And then Mr. Morgan Freeman, of course, you've known the voice, you've I know heard him the voice. from uh, Bruce Almighty. Yes. I've seen and, Bruce Almighty. And we saw him in another film. It was a, a war movie. I can't remember what it was, but he was in that one And he well. was in Shawshank. Yeah, for sure. So Morgan Freeman is a fantastic actor, and you guys have said such great things about this film. We're so ready to check it out. No doubt about it. Man, now I think about it, like, his acting job in Shawshank was unbelievable. Absolutely. But enough talking. We are ready to check out the bucket list today. We are so excited to be watching it with you guys. Make sure before you leave here, you like the video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that post notification bell so you do not miss any movie Mondays or film Fridays. And we tell you every time before we start, grab your favorite drink, your favorite snack, and... You like it. Let's get ready to check out some bucket lists. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. Let's go. It's, it's Nicholas or Nicholson? It's Nicholson. Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Who's Jack Nicholas? Who is that? Oh is that a golfer? Sounds like a teacher or something. You know, it's like an everyday name. <laughs> Edward Perryman Cole died in May. Best narrator voice ever. Is that by any measure, Edward Cole lived more in his last days on Earth than most people managed to wring out of a lifetime. Hmm. That's cool. I know that when he died, his eyes were closed and his heart was open. Start a movie. That's thought provoking and beautiful. Talking about life. H. Warren G. Harding, brother of B. Hayes, Herbert Hoover, and the two Harris. Benjamin. See, I only would have got a three out of five. Thought I'd get Jubble Harris. <laughs> You're sick, you know that? I think that's sick. Can you name the wives? <laughs> I could never. Only a few. That's a hard one. What do you know? I finally got. No, it's just that I don't know if you want the person they think invented the radio or the person actually invented the radio. His name hmm. is Smart. Yeah, it ain't him. Well, he's the one they generally think invented the radio. In fact, he got a Nobel Prize for it in 1909. Man, he's smart. Nikola Tesla, patent basic idea for the radio in 1896. Same idea Marconi used for his patent several years later. Now we're talking my science teacher talk here. Tesla, one of my favorites. That Marconi's patent was invalid. Nice and Tesla as the inventor of the radio. He's so intelligent. Oh, hi, Jenny. Well, good. My time. What did they say? All right, what does that mean? Kopi Luwak, the rarest beverage in the world. I'm going to go out on a limb and say he's going to be a character because... Mr. Cole, the board is ready to hear your proposal. Hold on just a second. Oh, we've seen Jack in the Army movie, too. Yeah, he was good in that one. Yeah. Hacksaw Ridge. Really good. Really good. Mr. Cole, sir. Do you know what a Philistine is, Jim? Sir, it's Richard. <laughs> That's what I feel. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, fellow supervisors. Okay, so I'm sorry, he's not in court. Not health spas. Two beds to a room, no exceptions. Look, I passed up a lunch with Michelle Pfeiffer to be here. I don't know who that is, but... <laughs> I know the name. Boys and girls, you need me. I do not need you. Tell them. <laughs> Mr. Cole, are you all right? <laughs> man was like a hospital developer or something, something along those lines. He was trying to get a hospital job. Through a hole in my throat. <laughs> well, that's not exactly what happened. Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> Hi, Tom. We're going to move you into the bed now, all right? He's a rowdy one. Oh, yeah. That's how I'd be too, though. I hate hospitals. Well, he seems like he's rowdy even out of the hospital. <laughs> how about now? <laughs> he wants you lately? Not since the Oprah incident. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Who am I? Who? Oh, God. What am I in the board? That was the first time I laid eyes on Edward Cole. Oh, that's the guy. Beginning to be sure. Spare me. <laughs> 
cake too. Damned if I'm gonna spend the next three weeks laying next to. See, this is the man he said that passed at the beginning. Policy countless times. You run hospitals, not health spas. Two beds to a room, no exception. Dang, his words are biting her in the butt. He's saying to heck with that now. <laughs> Even sedated, he's, he's, he's still, still in his head dead. cussing him. Yeah. It's always so sad seeing a patient like that all alone after that kind of surgery. Did you notice? Mm. Rachel called this morning. All right, how's she doing? She's auditioning for first violin in next semester symphony. My daughter's in college. That's wonderful. You know how heavy it is to hear of something so exciting and you're so sick, and you don't know if you'll get to see a next semester symphony. As something of a public health expert, I believe more people die from visitors than diseases. <laughs> so cranky. More people die from visitors than diseases. He was pretending to sleep the whole time so he didn't have to talk to her. Barry, right? <laughs> uh, it's the berries for 800. In a top four. Honor. Dumb question. How's that catheter? Don't know how I ever did without it. <sighs> humor is a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> it's not humor, he's being honest. Y you think you could just take a look at- Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm running late. Uh, who's your doctor? Dr. Gibbon. I'll let nurse know. Appreciate it. That would be harsh, huh? Mm-hmm. Bitch, ain't it? What a quarks. How long you been here? Oh, in and out over the past few months. Got me on experimental treatment. What is quadratic equation? He's just spouting off facts in the middle of a conversation. Chemo? Not too bad. If you don't mind round the clock vomiting, white veins turn black, and feeling like your bones are made of napalm, stay at the beach. Chemo's terrible. So safe it makes coffee. What else does it do? What else does it have to do? Did you know that coffee was originally discovered by a shepherd in Ethiopia? Did you? No. Seems his goats were eating berries from an unfamiliar bush. For long, they were running and jumping all over the... No, the caffeine. <laughs> berries started to burn. The beans inside gave off such a pleasant aroma. They brewed them into a stew. A stew? A cup of coffee? It's called Kopi Lua. I know what it's called. <laughs> As far as I know. Nice. <laughs> mm. Okay, we got. That's what I said to Jay the first time I met him. Why cheer you up? No, oh, thanks. I'll pass. You sure? <laughs> I took a bite. Best in LA. <laughs> oh. He told him he would know by tonight mm. and he just ate all that food. Mm. <laughs> And he was just uh, looking at him, taking that back, knowing that he was going to get sick. It's so hard to see and watch. <laughs> yeah, this is hard. Jay and I both lost two important men in our life to cancer. And when my dad was diagnosed, we had a month from the day we found out to the day he passed. It had spread through his entire body. So this is all hitting pretty close to so home, like to, watching it. Watch, and, yeah. And it... <sighs> my God. Oh, somewhere, somewhere, having a heart attack. <laughs> See, his humor is dark and you don't want to laugh and then, but he's funny. Because, <laughs> like, no matter what he's going through, he's still, he's still... He finds a, a, yeah. a way about it, yeah. Don't pay any attention to me. It's from Kai. I hope you talked him out of that. I tried. <laughs> my dad was a, a mechanic. He owned his own HVAC oh. business. <sighs> he doesn't seem to want to talk about his illness. Yeah. So he do. I just a tax attorney. Oh. Yeah. His brother Lee is an engineer. Oh, wow. Who's the pretty little lady? That's Rachel, youngest of the three. Big age difference. Yeah, well, she was a surprise. We'd hardly gotten the boys out of the house when she came along. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, he must be so proud. You can tell he's proud. How's that going? It's going. Head good, huh? That's why they invented light switches. <laughs> it don't get me wrong, I love being... Uh, I just got that joke. Started making money when I was 16. How uh, was that? Never stopped. Yeah, but damn, I wanted to be a history professor. That makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Uh, he'd be the best. Could you imagine walking in and being lectured to in that voice every day? Baby on the way. Takes for a decent job to come along. I always meant to go back, but 45 years goes by pretty fast. 
like smoke through a keyhole. It's crazy to think about what they're going through and listen to them talk about how fast mm -hmm. 25 years went. 45 years. Yeah, was that you said 45? Mm -hmm. Perspective, man. Sometimes it feels like I can't wait till I can do this or something. I can't wait till I'm at this point in my life. And they're sitting here like, man, like it's all. <laughs> Both. Uh, it's the state of nurses trying to kill him. They're building a little friendship. Because he's watching him struggle and he's watching him struggle and they're there for each other. You're in stage of denial. What stage are you in? Denial. I'm thinking about suicide. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, it looks like you won't be needing this anymore. Hey, I'm on for another hour. Anything you need? And line to center. They're like angels, especially when you go into labor. They're the ones you see the most. How is he watching? What is that? You're like mirror glasses. So he can see from mm. laying down. Game today. No fundamentals. <laughs> William Soroyan. Yeah. No foundation. All the way down. He's writing his bucket list. Hmm. Nothing. Scribbling. Scribbling? What? Nothing. Just scribbling. Oh, shoot. That's what you want to do. Ounces. He put his headphones on. These kids today. If you notice, Carter has a lot of cards on his wall, like get well soon cards, and he has nothing. Let's look at the angle. Carter, you want to ask Dr. Holland or something? Mr. Chambers. Well, get familiar. I just wanted to know how I stand, so. Um, how about I'll go take a look at your chart, okay? He made that man stop mm -hmm. and acknowledge him. Because he just shrugged him off earlier. Mm -hmm. Or last time we and he runs the hospital. Well, he owns it, so. Knowing how much time you had left to work with, it turns out it's not. He just told him he's got a year of this. Did you hear that? Is that mm. what he said? It hurts because you think about knowing when it's gonna happen. Like, everybody you're gonna miss. Thought you'd never ask. Rise and shine. Or that. I love that he's keeping his spirit, mm. right? Why change now? How do you want me to handle your death? Treat it as if it were your own. So, leave all the money to my assistant. <laughs> Don't buy any green bananas. Can you imagine what it was like being his assistant? Oh, man. He's probably been fired numerous times and then cussed out to come back. He's reading his stuff. All things we wanted to do in our lives before we kick the bucket. I've heard of a bucket list before. Mm -hmm. Young man's wishes. I was gonna redo the list, but... Help a complete stranger for the good. That's on his bucket list. Not to be judgmental, but this is extremely weak. <laughs> no, I love it because it's so simple. Right. Laugh until I cry. He wants to do human things. What are you doing? A little rewrite, that's all. <laughs> guns blazing. Have a little fun. Some cojones be about guns blazing or anything like that. You're missing the point. What the hell is witness of? <gasps> How about skydiving? Oh, yeah. mm -mm. I want to skydive so bad. <laughs> <laughs> is that the sum of your ambition? I would have taken bath deeper than you. It's easy to be deep in freshman philosophy. What's Dr. Holland say? <laughs> You think 45 years went by fast? We could do this. Oh, we want to do it. Don't think about money. That's all I got. Money's no issue, mm. right? They could really do it. You're the one crying you never took a shot. Here's your chance. My chance to what? Make a fool of myself? Never too late. Hmm. That's cool. What do you think happens now? You got a friend that's a little wild. You might end up in something like that. Watching you die while you try to comfort them. Is that what you want? To be smothered by pity and grief? I never thought of that that way, mm. from that perspective. Your heart, Carter. I believe not you either. Of course our neighbor would start mowing. I just noticed they were mowing. <laughs> I heard you. And you turned it off. Are you talking about me? Even by your standards. We still feel good, right? Energy's coming back a little bit. Asymptomatic, the doc says bullshit science experiment or we can put some moves on skydiving huh he's thinking about it <laughs> <laughs> they're crazy little is this there isn't an md within a mile virginia that's this hospital how's she gonna take this i'm gonna give you two a little quiet time oh he started again yeah i heard it 
Said he didn't care about your movie. Not good. Oh, she doesn't know yet. She didn't know his diagnosis. I want another opinion. Ah, oh, Virginia. Yes, oncology, please. Dr. Petiri's office. She already got on the phone. And about Edward and I are going. Edward and you? Going away where? I don't expect you to understand. Mm -hmm. Right? Why don't you tell our children that? See what they say when they find out you've given up on them. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. He's not. This is mm. hard for him. Five years greased up under the hood of a car so that they didn't want for him. Oh, man. It's tough because, like, from her perspective, like, you totally get it. You mm -hmm. understand. But, like, seeing that... Oh, he smiled at her. Seeing that from his perspective, it's totally understandable. He should not be enough to feel guilty. And so it began. Wow. I truly hate that oh, he had to fight they are, with her. They are really doing skydiving. That's the first one they're starting with? Oh my goodness. That looks so cool. I'm afraid to go up in an airplane. Now I'm gonna jump out of one. They'd have to push me out. I'd be, <laughs> I'd be limp. Cause I'd be so scared. How do you use the, wait, ow. Look at him just sitting up. I like the way he just perks up and sits places. Fart. <laughs> Fun friendship that developed, yeah? Read about the little woman with my wife! The sequel was me up on anything! We called her the sequel. Sequel. This is Edward Cole. A sequel. Hated me! A sequel! <laughs> no, I never looked. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Kyle. Well, you don't say, Kyle. No! I jump, you're afraid! It won't open! No, I'm pretty much just no, no. Oh, that gives me anxiety. That's the oh. worst thing to say. That would be Jordan. Lungs. <laughs> Let's hit the steel. <laughs> He's wild. I love him He's so all about much. It. He's all about it. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we get some comedy in here. Finally. I do because I would cry the whole time He's if he getting... wasn't so funny. How about the dishes is living? You're right. God. He's not enthused. Which one of these damn cars do you pull? <laughs> pull that bullet. Yeah, we can wind up in the bullet. Let's deploy. We're in the red zone. Pull the core. He won't pull it. I'll be so mad. <laughs> I was in love, boy. Oh, okay. I was he, about to say. He's rotten. Oh, you know, I would, I would get, I would get off of that thing if I was instructed. Oh, shake my finger. Oh. Remember the will. You're so close. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Is, is it Tommy or Thomas? Um, it's actually Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat some. Come on. He finds that too biblical. <laughs> He's insane. He's a fun insane. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> I, I. What's permanently? So. Except you guys say, hey, hold up. What? Wait, wait. Do I need to get some more insurance on the shop? I'm, I'm gonna. The wife? I never been with another woman. Uh uh. So, sixth and old man. No. He said I'm not crossing that line. Faithful. Just like professional. He is a mess. He's the epitome of a devil on your shoulder. Yes. Do you know Carter loves that woman too much? <laughs> hey, this is the same as the will. Hot will. Just getting to know each other. That's cool. I'm sure we're cleared for this. Of course we're cleared. He's a mechanic, so he loves cars, so this mm -hmm. probably means a lot. Just checking. Oh, those are sick. Baby! The Zappin, baby! I would just see the junior. One is gung ho, and one's like, oh, I'm just alright. Yes! You got enough for you, dangling! Did you just make <gasps> You're gonna kill us both! What if I do? What if I do? Uh, uh. Now he gets a chance to mess with him. <laughs> I'll show you evil. I'll show you evil, goddamn. Pick up on this, chicken man. Chicken man. 
Okay, it's so funny to see him get messed with for once. He's always messing with somebody. Chicken <laughs> man, huh? It ticked him off. Look at him. Look at him. Look, he's mad. This relationship is just too cute. I love it. Found family that you would have never expected to get along, but they went through something together. We're going through something together at the moment. That was a fun scene. That was cool. His car broke down. <laughs> what do you want to do next? <laughs> Jack Nicholson is just so funny. He is funny. Didn't anyone ever tell you the one with enough to ask? God, private jet. That's nuts. You know, it's also crazy because without them just being roomed together, he would have never got to experience mm. this. Because the only reason it's happening is he has so much money and nothing to do with it now. <gasps> you mm -mm. man. Stupid. Look at he is out of line. <laughs> He's terrible. Did you expect anything less than it's on brand? How cool would it be to fly private? It could be so rich. That's money, money. Yeah, you gotta have stupid money. He's trying to sneak. Look, he's trying to sneak. <laughs> Judgy eyes. Medicinal. Wow, that's beautiful. beautiful. The stars. It's really one of God's good ones. So you think a being of some sort did all this? This is going to be an in-depth mm. combo, just by starting it off like that. None of the people are always wrong who have faith. I just can't get my head around. Maybe your head's in the way. <laughs> Facts. And nobody has ever gotten over that wall. So, what do you believe? I resist all beliefs. He, I res he said he resists all beliefs. Random universe. We live, we die. Simple as that, huh? Not sure it works that way. Well, you're not claiming you know something I don't. I just have faith. Just faith. Just got the faith. And pass the mustard. Hide it. You know, that's interesting too because they are so very different. Mm. And it goes to prove that you can totally get along with different beliefs and different personalities. And just understand each other and not question it. One thought mayonnaise came from a plant. <laughs> so the mayonnaise came from a plant. I could get used to this. Also sounds like my third wife. Never had caviar. I don't really have the desire. Ugh. I don't I have could, the desire. I couldn't. Like, I could not physically put it in my mouth. <coughs> Fish eggs. Well, I'm flattered. Emily's 10th birthday was the best, though. Yeah, who's Emily? My little, uh, well, she's not so little anymore. <laughs> you have a daughter? I thought you said... Yeah. He said it, he didn't say you had kids. He said it depends. What are you doing? It's time. Oh, he's putting it on the bucket list. Oh, yes, that's perfect. Why? There is no why. Oh, don't give up, no. What's the matter? Excuse me. Where are you going? It's like a broad. Did he say he's like a broad? Mm hmm. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Right. What's. So oh. Oh. It's all right. Look, it's already stopped. See? Look, yeah. It's, it's just gonna have looks one. But this is making me extremely sad. Him trying to clean it up and trying to make it seem like it's not a big deal. <laughs> just for a moment, you want to forget and you just want to think mm -hmm. that they're just out traveling and having fun. You want to forget that it's a bit morbid. How much money do you have? <laughs> I'd really like to say you're irreplaceable, but I'd be lying. To say you're a gracious man and I love my job. <laughs> Turn about fair play. If you learned that from the master, he met, this guy's job is interesting. He's ushering them through this. On mm -hmm. the you? TV, Jeopardy. <laughs> so Jeopardy. <laughs> Friends, actually, uh, tomorrow. Give him back. Oh. They... I'm not asking for his sake, Mr. Cole. I've been a nurse my entire adult. Oh, she is than any woman should ever have to bear. I'm prepared for my husband to die. I'm just not prepared to lose him while he's still alive. She wants those last few moments. Sesame Street. Who were Bert and Ernie? Who were Bert and Ernie? 
That's such a beautiful bathroom. It's grand. Who is Spiro Agnew? Well, how's he gonna tell him? Buoyant. <laughs> so he does look happy, doesn't he? I mean, if you're worried about letting me down, you know, it's a lot easier for me. <laughs> he said, my wife got to you. He, did you see his face? Like, I see, I see what she does to people. Because I talked you into it. You're strong, but you're not that strong. I believe that. After Rachel left for college, there was a, I mean, you know, no more homework, no more little league. Oh. Oh. She was the same woman I fell in love with. She hadn't changed. But somehow everything was different. We'd lost something along the way. So he just feels like he's losing everything. In the jungle, the mighty lion sleeps tonight. I think he's saying like he had lost himself mm -hmm. in all that. You know, he was working and providing and raising. And so now it's time to find something for himself. That would be <laughs> so fun. And they're hanging out the roof saying Lion King. This is a moment. This is on my bucket list now. Yeah, I we have seen Lion King. <laughs> this is amazing. Closest we ever got to that, that safari at Disney at World. Disney World. <laughs> of course, he did insist on discharging a few rounds from the big gun. Hunting the big cat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it fell over, you know, but that kickback. <laughs> yeah, that, re that recoil put him mm -hmm. on his back. Always, if nobody knows, you always end up with that bruise, that bruise from it. <laughs> Did you know that Egypt. my lightning was right here in Egypt? I wish I'd met you before we were dead. <laughs> <laughs> Egypt is such a fascinating place. When their souls got to the entrance to heaven, the gods asked them two questions. Their answers determined whether they were admitted or not. What were the questions? What are the, uh, what are the questions? You. you. Answer the question. Have I found joy in my life? Yes. Yes. Has your life brought joy to others? Oh. oh. After the breakup and the ensuing fleecing of the, you know, you try to stay close, but it We're finally getting the story. Being my daughter, naturally, she went ahead and married him. She's probably had strong like him. The ex told me. Nice to hear her voice again. What did you do? What any father would do. I took care of it. He's got the money. And my daughter. Never heard from him again. He had him so Said I was dead to her. I get you can call it overstepping, but as a dad, he's just, that's his baby. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I'd do it all again, so. But he got him away, yeah, he said it doesn't matter. Well then, I guess that's just the way it goes. Yeah, yeah he's rich, he got that money. He can, he can make them phone calls, have someone disappear quick. How do we get down from this too? <laughs> After that conversation. Man, his daughter's mad at him, but as a father, he's like, you're safe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just walked around just throwing money. <laughs> this was the wife of Shah Jihan, fifth Mughal emperor. That's beautiful. Mm. Every square foot designed by the Shah himself. Well, that's true love. He'd be the perfect person to travel the world with because he would know all the facts. Like a perfect toy guide. Now I know it shouldn't matter, but I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> it shouldn't matter. The ground and nobody can hear me. We'll still make those coffins with the bells. <laughs> bells? What is a coffin with the bell? Float them down the Ganges on a bed of flowers. What if I feel the? F These are things you don't want to think about, you know. Mm -hmm. like Maybe we should go frozen like Walt Disney. <laughs> Just fine. Chuck full of nuts. And that's cute. Kopi Luwak. What do you got against Kopi Luwak? What are you talking about my coffee? Too fancy for my taste. Oh yeah, too fancy for my main man, Ray. <laughs> why are they always calling someone something other than their name? Yeah, I, he did uh, explain to us why Ray was his choice for him. You get all the cards. But I'm so tired of crying. Look at everything they're seeing. Flying private jet all over the world. Also, can we talk about the soundtrack to this movie? It's been so good. This is like traveling a lot, so I've been trying like some more like traveling type of music. It's cool. Carnation going for her, however that system works. <laughs> uh, Buddhist. He is a mess. I mean, what would a snail have to do to move up in the lineup? <laughs> like, what is, yeah, how do you... 
A, the first one. There's a storm up there. Well, thanks for the bulletin, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> well, when are they expected to clear? Uh, next spring sometime. <gasps> <sighs> that stinks, though. You know, I just... It's a bucket list, and it's not going to be till next week. Okay. Okay, okay. You don't have to get chippy with me. See, he's worried about him because he knows he's got family at home. Mm. So he's carrying on, I think, maybe a tad bit of guilt. I'm sorry if this sounds terrible, but aren't you a little developed in years to be running up a giant mountain? <laughs> <laughs> I made it to 26,000 feet. Before. Really? Mm -hmm. What's it like? Mm -hmm. There's not enough air to reflect the sunlight. But at night, you've never seen so many stars. It was like all sound just fell away. And that's when he heard it, the sound of the mountain. He said it was like he heard the voice of God. But was that conversation that beautiful, the way she described it and the way he described it? Never waste a heart on and never <laughs> trust a fart. <laughs> oh, my God. What about the silk suit? I was very clever of you. <laughs> How'd you know I wouldn't go through? I didn't. He set him up? He sent her? What? Proud of you. Nobody cares what you think. <laughs> Stop being so rude. <laughs> no, but they, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I love his character because my papa was, had that same type of humor. He was mm. so rude. Like I said, he, he spent his whole life working the oil field, so he had that certain type of humor. To tell you like it is. It's so funny. I'm glad he got to have fun, but I'm also mm. glad that he will get to spend some time with the ones he loves for a minute. That's his daughter. Yeah, huh? you know that's what it's gotta be. Hey, wait a minute. Edward! Wait a minute. No, you have to do it. Part of it. Oh, like the lady in the bar? It's different. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not you. And I'm supposed to make out like what? This trip was supposed to mean something to me? Like it was gonna change me? Oh, why would you say that? Everyone's afraid to die alone. I'm not everyone. This was supposed to be fun. He's lying. This trip meant something to him. He's just scared now. Mm -hmm. And he's he's acting out. He did. Call a cab. He really should. He told his, his assistant, tail. call a cab. He really showed his rear. They don't know how to handle those feelings, you can tell. I wish that didn't happen. Well, he got a nice house for being a mechanic. I bet you she's gonna be so happy. Mm -hmm. This is his apartment. It's so, um, what is it, like industrial? Like modern, yeah. Yeah, a little cold. Thank you for this day. For having our family. Oh. My husband, their father, Lord, to us. You see him smiling. Okay, he does have a large family. Oh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> This part makes me sad. Mm -hmm. it makes me so sad. Oh, babe. <laughs> this movie has so many perspectives, right? So many. at the same time, so you see different sides. Wasn't sure I'd need it. Sure. Look at she's the A. She's the little jig. Man. Do I want to know? <laughs> she said you don't like it. You know, I feel like a teenager, like our first time. Uh, if we were teenagers, we never would have gotten out of that living room. <laughs> we never made it in here. Put tiptoeing around. You were on me like. Ooh, Carter. Carter? Oh, you playing hide and seek now, huh? Okay. <gasps> no, oh, Carter, no, 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 no. no. 15% increase in cash assets following the sale of the recovery center. He went back to work. Why? Goddamn medical miracle. I'm simply asking. Is he really in remission? Oh, I 
Let's... But I thought it was Carter who was talking at the beginning. And I thought he was talking about Edward. Then he lost Edward. You look like shit, Ray. Thanks. <laughs> Still calling him Ray. <laughs> These cats eat the beans, digest them, and then defecate. <laughs> of the tree cat that give Kopi Luwak its unique fl Oh, that's horrid. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, he knew it the whole time the guy was talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the whole time he's drinking cat face. <laughs> he's full of it. That's why he's full of it. Babe, that's hilarious. He knew this whole time and he didn't let that man drink it. He made it so bad at so. You got a pin. Laugh until you cry. Perhaps I heard it wrong at the beginning of that monologue at the beginning of the movie. He's climbed the mountain. I thought he was talking about him because it was Carter who was mm -hmm. talking and he said the day that his friend died, there was no cloud in the air. No, I, thought, I thought it was... Morgan Freeman's Kit Carter as well. Kiss the Kiss most me. beautiful girl in the world. Close your eyes. Oh, man. Guys, I was not. Good afternoon. Mm. My name. Oh, look, he's so handsome. And his military guard. Man. A complete stranger for the good because he really did help Carter. And Carter helped him. And he knew it before I did. Carter was a light. He was a light. While to know me, if I happen to wake up next to a certain wall with a gate, I hope that Carter's there. <laughs> and show me the ropes on the other side. On the mountain. He put his can on the mountaintop. Oh, it was. His ashes. It was Perryman Cole died in May. It was a Sunday. Both of them. Even now, I can't claim to understand the measure of a lot. The assistant finished it for me. Yo, hey, your boy ain't shed this many tears in a movie in a woo. Closed. And his heart was open. His heart was open. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he was happy with his final resting place. Yeah. <laughs> because he was buried on the mountain. Right next to Carter. <laughs> that was against the law. <laughs> Guys. Oh. Man, y'all, I'm a wreck right now. It's hard because, like, it was one of the most heart wrenching movies, but at the that, same time, it, it hit so it hit so close. Because as, yeah. as Amber said earlier, you know, lost lost my grandpa, who was my dad, lost her dad, to the, just the same thing. So, ooh, that was hard. And then at the same time, like, to when my grandfather was starting to pass, him and him, he he was more of the hospital scene. Yeah, yeah he was more of the hospital scene. And then, like, right when he first found out, remember they were traveling so, so much. much. Oh, they to, were. He went to New York City. They <gasps> oh, went on I a didn't cruise, that. like. So it hits really, really hard. And then for know. me, that's crazy because it hits hard because my dad had, was the one who had the family mm -hmm. just around him. Like, we were all there, you know? So that hit hard. But it was also really a, an incredible movie because, like I said, it was heart-wrenching. Uh, and it gave you a perspective of so many different people. So, so many from the wife to the assistant to, mm -hmm. to Carter to Edward but you also laughed so yeah, you much laugh. because they developed the characters in such a way that you love them. And the humor, even though it was morbid, they found a way to, to, to giggle about mm. it and to find their way sort of through the end of life with uh, some spunk and some spirit. Let me sit up in my chair, guys. That was, that was tough, but that was an absolutely amazing, amazing movie. Now I get to go watch my Sooners hopefully kick some <laughs> you'll tail. Be, you'll be brought back up. But Man. that was cool too because, you know, that was fate, right? Yeah, for, it was fate. For these it was two fate. very different people to meet and for for what yeah. Carter got out of it, right? Mm -hmm. He could have only gotten that from Edward, from the money, from the funny laugh, blah, 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 right? And what Edward got out of that, he could have only gotten from a soul, right. a light like Carter. They provided each other something that... Neither mm. one of them both knew they needed it at the end of their lives was almost then, a saving grace. And then it was so beautiful to see the assistant finish it off for him. And then to cross off the bucket list. Uh, kiss the most beautiful girl. He kissed his granddaughter. 
and then to see a miracle when the assistant buried them next to each other. Witness something off. majestic and, and, or and, and, something. And then help a complete, complete stranger. stranger. I'm about to cry again, y'all. Goodness, that... That was just like... I don't that know. Hard. And that I was think, really hard. I think it's important to watch this movie. And I think it's important at any phase in your life to watch this movie. But I think for us, it was really cool because we are in that bulk of, you know, parenting. And when he was talking mm. about, you know, the sports and the little right, leagues and the yeah. dance recitals, like... Guys, our entire weekend is full of soccer and dance. Our entire and week, we have one day off a week from activities. Yeah, and it's crazy because he talked about how he kind of lost himself in that shuffle, and how he was able to kind of get that back through traveling mm. and you know getting to see the things that meant the most to him and still go back to the ones he loved. I'm just this movie was just impeccable. It was absolutely amazing, guys. Thank y'all so much, yeah. so so much for that suggestion. Woo, as we always send you guys out of <laughs> like here. Like, we're heavy. Know, like, as, how do we, we finish the small as one? we always send you guys out of here. We love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And remember, every single day that you guys wake up, guys, it is truly <laughs> a blessing. You know, we've been saying that for over two years since we started this YouTube journey. This movie just put it literally into perspective. As we always tell you guys, hopefully we'll see you next Monday or Friday. But you guys have a goal every single day, just like we do. Because we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. You guys have a goal just like we do. If you're part of the RSR family, let them know, Mom. That's all you got to do. And I hope after watching this movie, you understand the magnitude of what this can do to the world. Just go out and make somebody smile. We love you guys. Till next time, we'll see y'all later.